Good afternoon and welcome to Baku. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history, with controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. So let's find out what lies in store for us this year. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. The Baku city circuit measures roughly six kilometers and is made up of 20 corners and two DRS zones. The circuit winds around the narrow city, through the old town, and even brushes against the city's medieval walls. However, as beautiful as the setting is, this track is also a ferocious technical challenge, where the smallest of mistakes could lead to catastrophic consequences for all of our drivers. And with me, as usual, is Anthony Davidson. Let's discuss Red Bull. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Sergio Perez, Thomas, Stroll, Albon, Raikkonen, and Carlos Sainz, Vettel, Ocon, Lando Norris, and Ricardo, Giovinazzi, Kvyat, Pierre Gasly, and George Russell, Magnussen, Grosjean, Correa, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. <laughs> second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. We're going to box this lap, push hard on the in lap. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. now, one stop left.
gate clear. We advise moving to mix two, fuel to mix two. Full course caution. The safety car is out. Keep an eye on the Delta. We need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty. too soon. between you and the car behind by a few seconds per lap.
concerns at the moment. Just focus on the driving. This lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. Go, go. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. The gap to the car ahead is 8.9 seconds. a danger point with the wear on the MGUH. Overheating the engine will exacerbate the issue, so keep the temps under control. the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. And so ends another Azerbaijan Grand Prix. A fascinating race and a well-deserved victory. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So let's review the updated driver's standings. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to say Sebastian Vettel certainly caught my eye during today's race. Incredible driving. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon.